for me. Yes, I did, Alex. I went to my daughter's office today. And I wasn't comfortable with her mood. But after our conversation, I found out that two of you are having an affair. She made mention of a lady in your house that is distracting your attention from her. Alex, do you know that my daughter loves you? I do, sir. Uh, and I love her too, but it's just... And I'm happy to hear that. Alex, I want you to know this. Jennifer is my only child. And I am ready to do anything for her. Both my companies, properties, my chamber, mention the rest, belongs to her. And any man she will boldly send to me as her husband. So you should count yourself lucky. Because you are the only man she has been ringing his name in my ear. Yeah, sir, I've heard uh, what you have to say. I just, I need some time to think. Um, yeah. Better be a man. Because you're a matured man. You can make this show. Thank you, sir. We really have to be fast so I can get back to the office before the close of work today. I took permission to be here and as you can see I'm still on my solicitor where my man, he does not want to hear me call the name Frank again. He doesn't like it. So I have to be very careful. This is the same place we came last month. Yes. Same house he brought me to. And that is the mother washing over there. Oh my God. This is the same woman he introduced to me as his mother. Same woman showed me a grave where she claimed Frank was buried. So, we are both talking about the same person. Exactly. One that shall never end. I was here four months ago when I was pregnant. Are you not Rosie? Yes, I'm Rosie. The young lady my late son brought home the other time. Late? Yes. No, Mama. <sighs> Don't tell me that Frank is really dead because I saw someone that looks exactly like him in the city. And that is why I've come to confirm if he's truly dead or not. Like Frank? Yes. My daughter, look at where they buried my son. My only son. No. No. My four years are full, so. No. No. You and I were like fireworks. What we had to share was real. You took the very part of me. Now you left me in this lonely world. I don't mean to be 
to say he did a lot to me this guy is the reason I am suffering today he is the reason my parents disowned me he came into my life lied that he loved me ate my money got me pregnant and then disappeared into the air the next thing I heard was that he was dead and then I kept seeing him when each time I approached him he kept lying to me that he wasn't the person it's okay my dear we're, we're in this together we have to fix a date to pay him a visit. Yeah, that's fine, but uh, you have to let me know in time so I can communicate because of my work schedule. Yeah, it's okay. <sighs> Let's just go. You're welcome, sir. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Is Rosie back? No, she's not. All right, I'll be in my room. All right, sir. Dinner will soon be ready. Good, good. Oh my, this is really serious. For justice, Uchendu to call me because of his daughter. Making me promises. Talking about making me the MD and oh my god, he has so many businesses. If I marry Jennifer, it'll be advantageous for me. But then there's Rosie. Rosie is exactly every single thing I want in a woman. She's industrious, she's beautiful, she's responsible, she has principles, high morals. She's just the perfect wife material. Man, this is a big challenge. Anyways, let me call Jennifer and see where she's at. You're with your phone all the time now. What's this now? What's this? What's all this? If I call two times, I love her. If I don't call one, if I call once, I don't care. All these mind games. What's this now? Pick. Twist my face to the back last night. But you almost finished me. What was that? And where did you get that strength from? Baby, look. When a lady is so sweet down there, 
but one can't seem to have enough of it. You want to want to go back there over and over again. Listen, what is the secret? Tell me. Okay, fine. <laughs> I have to go now. Huh? I need to head back to the office. Baby, next one, I will give you 360 degrees. In fact, you're going to fall from bed. Back it. <laughs> okay, I've heard that. This your work is really paining me. Can't you just take leave and give me all of your time? I can't yes. seem to have enough of you. This work is very important to me. I have to go. I understand, but <laughs> baby. I really messed up. Alex was calling while I was with my ex. I couldn't speak. But babes, you really messed up this time around. I mean, you should have concentrated on one person, knowing fully well how your relationship with Alex is shaking. I know, I know babe. But what would you have me do? I'm a human being. I've got blood and water flowing in my veins, babe. I need to, come on. I have to manage my feelings. Alex is never available and it's because of that pregnant girl in his house. Come on. <laughs> but it not be fire who do. I guess quench this fire inside of me, you know. Have you quenched the fire? Oh yes, I have. I have and I feel so happy. You won't understand. Hey, Larry almost killed me. Now, how are you save myself? <laughs> I please don't pay me tire. You don't understand. Hey, hey God. No. I feel so better. At least I have I still receive some better vitamins, you know. This is my friendship. I'll <laughs> <laughs> give you one day. Oh my goodness. I find out that you are a thief and you're a player. Oh spare me that. You dare not come to my house and insult me after all you did. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Well, I thought you were claiming that you don't know me, right? Well, I went to your village with this lady. The same lady you claim and denied. But it's clear to me now that she was right after all. You told her your name is Frank and you told me your name is, is Steve. And now you are answering Daniel. And to crown it all, you set me up with your, with your friend Dave and claimed you traveled. Steve, or whatever your name is, I need all my money, all the money I spent on you and your poor wretched mother. Look, woman, I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even know, I don't know which is. Steve, Frank, Daniel, <laughs> or whatever you call yourself, yeah. it is none of my business. It is not. Because it has dawned on me that you're not just evil, wicked, a criminal, but also you are an evil personified human being. I don't even want to talk about the fact that my father gave you the sum of 10 million naira when you said we were preparing our marriage. I don't want to talk about all of those things. Mm. But I want you to know something. I gave birth. The child I have with you the child you put inside me. Unfortunately, I lost my baby. But I want you to know something, Frank. If you do not provide every of the dime I spent on you, every of the dime, I swear with my life, you will get it out from me. Excuse me. Baby. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. These two ladies just say the same thing about you. Are you still here saying nothing? No, no, no. Baby, listen. I will explain everything to you. As for this woman here, 
Yes, we were in a relationship, but she cheated on me, and that was the end of our relationship. Oh, and as for the lady that left, <laughs> I have never met her. This whole thing is strange to me. Oh, you know me. Come, you're still denying me after setting me up with your friend Dave, right? But was that enough for you to cheat on me? Was it? As for you, I have nothing to tell you. Very soon, it will be clear to you. He will finish eating your money and dump you, and your eyes will open. <laughs> Frank, I need my money. Frank, Steve, Dave, I need my money. Baby, I'm coming. Oh, Monica. Hey, Frank, me. Me, Frank. Oh, don't worry. You will soon hear from me. <laughs> you will soon hear from Monica. It's Monica. Hey, Frank. <laughs> All right. It's okay. You will have no peace for making me homeless. You claimed that you loved me. Yet, you got me pregnant, abandoned me and ran away with my money. Oh, Frank, you will suffer. My God will punish you for every single thing you did, you did, you did to me. God will punish you. God will punish you. Hey, 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 what's going on? Oh, why are you acting like this? What's going on? Alex, you're a very good man. As a matter of fact, you are God sent to me. It's okay. No, stop, stop. We can't do this, okay? I'm not sure you want this. When you get better, you're going to be mad that you did it. No, I know exactly what I want and I'm not going to regret anything. We went to Frank's house. I mean, I went to his house with one of the sugar mummies I met at his play the other day. Mm. And I'm getting there. We found out that we were actually talking about the same person. And then he has another sugar mommy that he's dating right now. He has also changed his name. That guy is nothing but a thief, a player, evil personified human being. He made my parents disown me. He dealt with me and then ran away with my money. He will never go scot-free. No. I will fish him out and deal with him. Yes. Listen, babe, that guy has bitten off more than he can chew. Okay, he will definitely pay for his actions. He has to. He Look, I don't like the way you reacted the other day at my house. Shouting and spilling all the beans like a mad dog. Why would you do me like that? Huh? After all the things we've been through. And I was even giving you sign to keep quiet. But you kept on going and going. I don't understand. What you did to that girl is not good at all. Why would you eat her money, get her pregnant and deny her? Why? Look. I am here because I want us to make peace. I don't want to ferment any trouble. So I'm not interested in talking about any girl. What do you take me for? Hmm? Do I look like a baby that you can brainwash? Never. I cannot make up with a thief and a liar like you. Never! All I need is my money. All the money I spent on you. Give it to me, including the one I spent on your wretched mother. Baby, baby, what are you talking about? Baby, what are you talking about? Look, I said I came here for us to make up and you're talking about money. Why are you talking like this? Mm. I have missed you. I, look, I want things to get back the way they used to be because I've missed you around. I want you back in my life. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm here. Tell me if, you want me, if you want me back, it will be on one condition. Condition? What condition? You have to chase that old cargo in your house. That's number one. 
Then number two, you go and pay my bride price immediately. And then you find a way and settle that girl that you got pregnant. <sighs> okay, I'll think about it. I'll get back to you. It's all right. You're still looking beautiful. Really missed you, you know? Big Yes? I have good news for us. Wow. Share it. I got a mouth-watering job in the United States that will last for two years. Wow. So, I will be traveling very soon. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Congrats. Two years? Yes, two years. It's big. No, that's sudden. And I'll be going with you, right? No, 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 baby. It's not necessary. You see, I need to go alone. But I promise you, as soon as I get back, I'll marry you. Oh. You know? mm. And you know I need to make more money for us. I understand. I'm gonna miss you when you travel. How am I going? How am I even going to cope? I am going to miss you more. Mm? I don't even know how I'll survive without you, but I'll cope. You know what? I'll make sure I call you every day. You do? Okay. Yes, of course. And then all your wedding materials, like your gown, I'll buy everything from the US. Perfect. Perfect, right? <laughs> I am going to miss you. I'll miss you more. <laughs> I'll miss you more. <laughs> My baby. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> mm. Bro, you needed to see how Rosie pulled me in for a kiss. Bro, <laughs> I felt like I was on top of the world, honestly, you know, but I just I had to stop her, you know, because like, yeah, I had to stop her. I had to stop her, you know, because she was feeling vulnerable. She didn't, I don't know if that's what she really wanted then, you know, because she was feeling down. She got some bad news and I wasn't going to take advantage of her situation, you know. I don't get it. How do you mean? Um, so it's, well, it's a long, it's a long, weird story, bro. I don't even understand. Apparently her ex-boyfriend, <laughs> the one that's supposed to be dead, is not dead again. And then she met one woman that one older woman that's the guy used to be the guy sugar mommy or something and they went to the village or something but did, she was just going through a lot you know she was vulnerable she was in a low moment she was emotional i wasn't going to take advantage of her in that situation that would be like predator behavior you know and this is somebody i care for so i couldn't do it my guy i don't get you at times a girl is offering you a free hug and a free kiss you're telling me here you are caring about emotional status. Yes, because I love her. I love right. her. I'm not just going to, you know, make any sexual advances or anything crazy. You know, I'm in love with the girl. I need to show her that it's not just her body I want. Because the body is crazy. We all know. But it's not just that. You see, my guy, if I wear you, I don't land that girl with the with But if you say so, it's all right, Pastor Alex. But count me out of it. It can never be me. It can't be you, no. She didn't pick you. She's like, I didn't pick you. Yeah, I think I rushed somewhere. <laughs> Young man, since you joined my company as the manager, you have been losing money. And your effort is nothing to write home about. You even went as far as using my company's name for an illegal business. And now the EFCC has written a letter for fraud. And you know what that means? Chief, I'm very sorry about that. I'm trying my best to cover it up. You better do. Because if anything happens to my company, I swear you will not find it easy with me. I promise you that. Okay. What rubbish? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to your home. Wow. Please relax and make yourself comfortable. Mm. <sighs> I have missed you. 
It is good to be back home. Yeah. Yeah. We have missed you, honestly. Sure you do? Yes, I have missed you, you know. <laughs> well, let me go inside and check my kitchen and see the situation that old Kago kept it. I need to rearrange my house. <laughs> of course, you can do anything you want. This is your house. Yeah. I mean, you are the only madame in this house. <laughs> the only person. Are you sure? Yes, baby. Please. You know how it used to be. You started... Uh, all right. Let me go inside. Uh, you are the only madame of this house. I can't equate you with any other person. Okay. All right. I'll be with you soon. seen you this happy and excited before. You know, Auntie, I just had to put everything behind me and move on with my life. I'm definitely not going to kill myself. Okay. Exactly, my dear. And um, seeing you like this makes me happy. I am really very excited. What would you have me do, Aunt? Knowing full well that the idiot, the bastard I've been preserving myself for, has been alive. And then when he met me, he, he pretended that he doesn't even know me. In fact, he, he denied knowing who I am. So I don't have a choice. I had to start pouring out the love I have for Alex. I don't have to hide it anymore. It's just that I'm a very, very disciplined person. I don't double date. I love to do the right thing. So I needed to be sure if what I was doing was right. But now I am definitely sure. And I'm following the path I've chosen. Rosie, do you know I can write a book on decency just by listening to you? You are the most decent girl I have ever set my eyes on. And that is not an exaggeration. Believe me, you deserve all the happiness in the world. And hey, one more thing you need to know. The love you have for Alex, it is reciprocated. I know. I know if you feels really the same way for you. I know. Okay, let me just... Quickly hurry up before he gets back. Yes, while I back in the euphoria of knowing that I am on leave today. Yes, I'm you are. I'm going to sit back and relax and eat the food when it's ready. Definitely. Don't worry yourself, I'll do everything. I can see you're very busy. Yes. Look, I don't like the way that boy is handling the company. Since he became the manager, it has been from one loss to another. Even to the extent of using my company's name for an illegal business. And now the EFCs are involved. Look, if anything happens to my company, he will pay because I labored so hard for everything I have to pay. I remember you had one that brought him. Baby, I'm sorry. I never knew he would be this desperate. Gosh. Don't worry. I'll talk some sense into his head. Please do. Because I'm not only going to fire him, I will make sure he pays for all the damages he caused me before going to jail. Oh, baby. Baby. Please. No, 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 no. I don't like it when people misuse opportunity. It's okay now. I'll, I'll handle the situation, I promise. Okay. Young lady, I have come to see you. And I'm very much aware that my baby, Alex, isn't home. 
This is a check of five million naira. Take it. Get yourself an apartment and leave my man alone. I wouldn't want to come back here and sing this again. I'm sure in your entire miserable life you haven't seen such amount of money. Have it. Aren't you stupid? Look at this insane entity. What is wrong with you? So you think I haven't given someone this cheap amount of money? What is five million? What do you think of yourself? You're so proud. What nonsense. In your widest dream. Yet you're still in my fiance's house, eating his money and food, forgetting the fact that I pay her. <laughs> I am his boss. And the same money you were busy enjoying is from me. That's the problem you have. I'm sure this is how you talk to a man you claim you love. I pay him. You have no sense. Now listen, take your miserable money to yourself. Use it to go and help your frustrated life. Because I see you are not sane. Aradroy, go and take care of yourself. You're not only a bloody liar, but also a witch. <laughs> what kind of human being are you? I've been asking you, did you have anything to do with Alex? Are you two together? You kept saying no. For what exactly? That is because I owe you no explanation, bitch. And who do you think you are to ask me stupid questions? Listen, I am not answerable to you. You don't have any right to ask me any stupid question. I don't get it. And yes, I think it's high time I made it clear to you. Alex and I are in love with each other. He loves me as much as I love him. And I'm not ready to share him with anybody. Not even a thing like you. A <laughs> desperate thing like you. Mark my word. Take a chill pill. Don't be too hard on yourself. I'm just wondering where the spirit of boldness comes. <laughs> I've always been bold anyways. I've always been bold. And I need you to know something. You don't have any right, any power to ask me to leave this house. You can't do it. You will never, you can never think of it. Only Alice can. And of course I know he won't. All I can see here is stubbornness. And I also say that you are ready, fully ready to face me. Very ready, yo. Very, very ready to face you. Because you don't have respect. You're just so it's desperate. Okay. You're desperate pushing yourself on a man that does not want it you. It is fine. Yes. Watch and see. I shall see nothing. Take your miserable life check and frustrated self out of this house. Never return, oh. Don't come back. Uh -uh. How can a woman be running over a man like that? You come here to, to shun me, to give me cheap money. You think, I, you think I'm broke or I'm hungry? Now, where did that courage come from, Rosie? Hmm? Ah, I couldn't help overhearing the both of you. Listen. Any dog that barks does not bite, okay? So don't be perturbed by her silly threats, okay? Don't let it scare you. Mm -hmm. She can't even scare me. The guy is so rude, trying to give me money as if I'm hungry or what. Now that's the spirit. That's the spirit I've been talking about. Always stay strong. Keep it on. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Don't mind them. Rubbish. Oh, Jennifer came to my house today to attack Rosie and they nearly fought. Like, what's that? The disrespect. She didn't even have regard for me. She came to my house to fight a guest of mine. And all this, she's doing all this because I'm working in her father's chambers. That's why she's doing this thing. Man. As if I wasn't working for them, she wouldn't have the balls to do that. This is very serious. Today, instead of coming to your house to fight Rosie, bro, 
Like, who, what kind of class? Like, I don't even understand. Like, what's that? Well, as you can see, her father is gone. What's what? this? Oh my god. What's this now? Yeah? I can't you see I'm tired of this thing. I don't need I do not need this energy in my life right now. I don't. I don't. See, my guy, you need to own up as a guy. I know you now. You're a brave man. See, you need to talk. If you love Rosie, you go for her. Just as in choose one person straight. I mean, you go for and pull out of that uh, Jeffers Father's chambers and look for a job, I, I, I swear. And I remember you told me about your aviation, aviation studies. The whole time you become a, a pilot and this whole shit will end. So that's my suggestion. Um, I appreciate your concern. You know, I appreciate your concern. My brother, just, just try it, bro. I it. Just, no, I appreciate, I appreciate your It's alright. You know, I don't know what to do. It's just a little time, a little time. Yeah. Well, I need to run out now. Yes, there. Oh. Sorry, I dragged you out. No problem. What is it? I love Alex. I love Alex so much. And no one would ever stop. The love I have for him. Not even his sister Mimi. She can't stop it. No one can. And that's why I'm making it very obvious for all of them to know. I can't hide it anymore. I appreciate the fact that now you are saying what I've been telling you all this while. And I'm very happy for your boldness now. Believe me. No matter what they do. You love Alex and Alex loves you. That is the most important thing. And I believe God will see the boot of you true. Amen. Amen. Hello? How are you? What? You still went back to his house after everything he did to you? Okay, that's fine. I believe very soon that idiot will have to pay for every single thing he did to us. I'll call you later. Is everything all right? It's, it's Frank. Oh. So, Auntie, I just thought it wise to let you know. And don't worry. Any decision you take, I am solidly behind you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was doing something in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Babes, do you know Austin went to the extent of using Chief Benson's company's name for his illegal business? Now the EFCC are after Chief. They are investigating the matter. Chief is highly mad at him. Are you for real? That guy has beaten more than he can chew and you cost it. How? Is it a crime to use this opportunity to help my boyfriend? This is not the time of helping your boyfriend or your lover. For crying out loud, if you know what is good for you, tell Chief to fire that guy immediately before he spoils your marriage. Huh? You have a good idea. But he threatened to disclose our affairs to Chief if he gets fired. My dear, even if he tells Chief, Chief that I know will not believe him. So my dear, do the needful. Do the needful before it ends in regrets. Hungry. Trust. Oh, yes, today. Oh. Traffic today was terrible. Yeah. You can eat now, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Just eat. Hope you will join me. Yes, I will. Uh. Mama, is there a problem? Uh, uh, 
Right now? Mama, tell me now, what is it? Talk to me. No. Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming. I'm coming there right away. You will see me now. Ha, ah, baby. Yes. My mother, I think there's a problem. My mother is sounding so bad on the phone. She needs to see me right now. Baby, you need to eat. Honey, I just have to rush because she's sounding very serious. Eat. Let me just rush and then, and then go and see. Anything to you? Talk to, talk to me, please. Talk to me. Who? What? What happened? I was attacked by some boys when I was coming down from the market. They said I should stay away from you, and I know this won't be. It won't be far from Jennifer. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to get to the root of this. I promise you. It's okay. Please don't cry. Yeah, I'll get to the root of this. I promise you. I Listen, promise you. I'll tell you something now. They can do whatever they want to do. They're not going to do anything. They cannot even stop me from loving you. I love you so much, Alex. The impact you have made in my life, it, it's not easy for me to just let you go like that. They can't stop me from being with you. Nobody's going to stop us. It's okay. It's okay. You need to freshen up, okay? It's okay. I'll get to the roots of this, I promise you. Please don't feel bad about this, yeah? I'm so sorry it's my fault. I apologize. Rosa, what seems to be the problem? Why are you looking moody? I was attacked earlier today. What? By some stupid boys. I don't know whether to call them hoodlums. I don't know. They, they attacked me. I mean, it was only God that saved me because I didn't know what would have happened. Mm -hmm. That I should stay away from Alex. Eh? And that they would deal with me if I come close to him again. And I'm sure he's not far from that girl, Jennifer. What is this now? Eh? What is it? I don't know. I'm so sorry about that, my dear. I'm sorry. What is all this want now? Can't they just leave you alone? Have you, you been through enough already? Eh? Have you told Alex about this? Yes, I have. I've told him and he said I shouldn't bother myself, that he would get to the root of it. But the thing is that they cannot stop the love I have for Alex. I've grown to love him and no one can just, you know, tell me to leave him just like that and I'll just do it. It's not done. This is a man that has sacrificed a lot for me. I won't just go, 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 go off like that because of their cheap threats. Mm. That is the spirit of love talking through you. I see someone is deeply in love here. I really do love Alex. But I'm scared. I'm scared. Scared about what, my dear? That he might not reciprocate the love. You know, there are a lot of women after him. I know how you feel. But listen, it is only a man who truly loves a woman that will wait and bid his time. He will not try to take advantage of you when you're vulnerable. You see all these loafers and the rest of them, they are the ones who want to bounce on you when they see that you're at a very low ebb. At this point, any man who loves a woman would want to keep her, not just to hit and run away. No. That's why he's taking his time. Just be patient with him, okay? Right. Go freshen up and catch your rest. Guy, my guy, how's it been with you? Man, it's been good, 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 good. Though mama was sick, so I went to see. But she's better now. Oh, my God. Yeah, and that reminds me. Monica is back to the house. Monica? Why did you bring her back? Man, I had to. I had to bring her just to calm down the heat. Could you imagine she came here the other day and was shouting like a mad dog? 
threatening all sorts of things. So I just brought her in. But don't worry, I have a perfect plan. Very soon, I will discard her and bring in another movie that is rich with cash. I'm already working on it though. Bad guy! <laughs> Sharp guy! You know what I so, like? You, you're very, very smart. I will leave that uh, nothing there happen. Look, we're in this together. I've said my own. That's what's smart. Hmm? Well, that's what I want you to teach me about business. To be like you, Katia. You're not serious. Why did you invite me here? You think you are smart, right? Eh? But I promise you one thing. You will never get away with this. We told Chief to sack the company. I'm going to tell Chief about our affair. You will do no such thing. You should be grateful for the things I did for you. Did I do anything wrong by making you the manager of the company? You messed up. You messed up everything by doing illegal business with Chief Company's name. Austin, I love Chief so much. Chief is everything to me. He is my life. And I wouldn't want anything to come in between us. You wouldn't want anything to come in between you and Chief. So what happened to me? I have lost my job. What is my gain now? What is now my gain? Look, I'm not that bad. I'll be sending you money every month for your upkeep. Nice. I hope you keep to your promise. I'll do anything for you. Come. Come and make me happy as usual. Hey, do you know that I overheard Steve telling his friend Brian that he brought me back to the house to quench the fire and to quench the situation? Aye. That soon he will kick me out of his house. Mm. Steve, I told you that guy is a beast. That guy is an animal. Anyway, you know the reason you were there. Just execute the plan and let's put a stop to this drama. I am not a baby girl. Yeah? By the time I finish my work on this young man, in his next world, eh? he will never toil with a woman. That's the spirit. Come that's on. That's the spirit. What kind of a beast not, is that? Not be money again. Hi. Money with the boots. Money with the boots. Nah, be money. Uh, move, move it. Nah, me be Don't be shake. Money. I say move on. <laughs> You called? I did. Hmm. Where's Jennifer? She won't be coming to work today. I'm not surprised. She knows exactly what she did. That's why she skipped work today. She's, she's... I'm not I expect her to skip work today. That's what I expect. What has she done this time around? She sent dogs to attack Rosie. What kind of human being does that? Why would she do that? Huh? That's so mean-spirited. I think she overreacted this time around. But Alex, it's high time you made your decision as a man and put a stop to this mess. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. I think I have to stop working here, okay? Because the fact that I'm working for her father, she's using that to get to me. So I need to stop. Because that's the place that the disrespect is coming from. Because I'm working for her father. So I need to quit. Has it gotten to this extent? It's gotten to this extent. I need to do what I have to do to stop the mess. You called it a mess. It's a mess. So I have to stop working here. Yes, I know. But like I said, remember she still loves you. Oh, she loves me. So she shows she loves me by sending thugs to go beat up Rosie. That's how she shows she loves me. Somebody I care about. She knows I care about Rosie. 
and she wants that person hurt. That's how she shows love by hurting people I care about. Mm, if we get married now, she'll go and kill my family now to show that she loves me. <laughs> well, Alex, seriously, if you marry my friend, I'll be very happy. This is not a joke. I'm not even trying to be funny. This is why I'm serious. Please, please. She crossed the line. It's too much. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think. Okay, she resorts to assault. Yeah. A woman that already feels vulnerable now feels more vulnerable. Rosie feels vulnerable. Oh my god. You know what? I'll call her and talk with her, okay? You know she loves you. I, I beg. That love thing. Just I beg. I beg. Please, can you just calm down, okay? Calm down. I'll talk to her, okay? Hey. Hey. I know you. I saw you the other day with Rosie at your place, I believe. Well, I don't know you, and I don't know what you're talking about. Clearly, you have me mistaken for someone else. I'm sure you're the one I met with Rosie. You got her pregnant and you are denying it. You're the one. Hey, look, mister, I am not married yet. I don't know who Rosie is or what her name is. Please stop this embarrassment. As you can see, I was about leaving before you stopped it. So you're still denying it, huh? You're a shameless man. You're denying it. You think you're smart? When I'm done with you, you see who's smarter. Listen, mister. Listen, do you know I could sue you? Hey, do not touch me. I can sue you for blackmail because I don't know you and I don't know who Rosie is. What's your problem? You're a fool. You go around living a fake life, lying to women, stealing from their purses, serving to get a normal job. Go ahead, you're living a useless life. Get out of my face. We shall see. Can't wait for that keke. Oh. See him. He go. Wait for that keke. Rush oh, before the keke go go. Idiot. It's how you Babes, we're not at the office. What's happening? I wasn't really feeling so good. You sure you were not feeling strong? Because Alex is really angry with you. He said you sent thugs to beat up Rosie. Girl, come on. I need to do the needful. I need to get my man back. Even at that, you overreacted. I mean, what if that girl had died? Oh, that would have been so fantastic. That would have been amazing. So be it. If she had died, so be it. Who cares? Please, you need to really calm down. I understand the pressure, okay? Please, take things really, really easy. She hasn't even seen anything yet. I am so going to give it to that bitch real hot. For God's sake, this girl is really the one confusing Alex here. She's the reason why Alex and I are still unmarried. I just hate her with so much passion. I only advise you as a friend to take things easy. Because Alex is really, really angry with your actions. In fact, he feels so intimidated because he's working for your father and then you're using the opportunity to get at him. He's not happy about it. Bella. I don't like your mood. What's the problem? Well, why should I be happy? Why should I be happy when EFCC have saved letter to my company because of that boy Austin? Why? Baby, you need to cheer up, okay? I have good news for you. I'm pregnant. Pregnant? <laughs> hey! Hello. <laughs> that is good. Hey! So, I now have an air. Come see now. My hair is not going to be in vain. 
In fact, baby, you have made my day. You have made my day. I now have an heir that will take after me. Hey! So I now have Chief Benson Jr. Maybe this cause for celebration. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Um, who is there? Agnes! Agnes! Yes, come, 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 come. Come! Yes. What do you have in the kitchen? So we have fried rice and chicken pepper soup. Go and get all of them. Bring everything. We are celebrating. You woman, we are celebrating. Okay. Bring all of them. Oh, come inside. <laughs> me, 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 me. Doctor, I have told my husband about the pregnancy. He is excited about it. Please, let's try to maintain our standard in case he comes around to verify. That won't be a problem. Just do the needful. You don't have a problem with that. I've transferred the sum of 1.5 million naira into your account, soonest. What have you do? Nice one. But doctor, I'm quite worried. Um, what am I supposed to do? From four to five months, my pregnancy is supposed to be growing. Don't worry. I will handle it. All you need now is to be pampered during your pregnancy. I thought she's blessing. I will take care of it. Thank you, doctor. But don't forget, I don't know you, you don't know me. All right? I don't know you, madam. <laughs> this is how we eat. All right. I'll send you the money soon, shortly. Yes, do. I'm sorry for my action. I, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. At least I really love you. I'm just doing everything humanly possible to get married to you. To the extent of sending pugs to attack Rosie? Why would you do that? What did she ever do to you? And like she knew that girl has been a total distraction between us. I'm sure you can concur to that. I just felt like teaching her a little lesson to get her eyes off you. You thought teaching her a lesson would take her eyes off you? What if she died? Would you say have me? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I promise this is not going to happen again. Forgive me, please. Alex, I really do love you. Sophie, just don't... Just calm down. You don't have to overreact all the time. That, that was a huge overreaction. Come on. I promise it won't happen again. I promise. So if you are forgiving me, why not take back the letter? I'm sorry. All is well. This is a bad woman. Ah. Should I stop going to the farm? No. You should stop me from going to the farm. I must go to the farm. Hey. This aroma is nice. Madam Tina, I hope my food is ready. Welcome, 
Why are you looking at this? Oh, I know, you're a bush girl. You've never seen a beautiful piece like this in your entire life. Anyways, this is an umbrella before you mistake it for a bottle. Were you the one cooking in the kitchen? Yes. Are you, you're famished? No. I lost my appetite. Fine. I did for my duty post. They perceive this one of your food. This food they enter my nose. I know they three me to go there for my food. Yeah, As a guy in charge, small guy. <laughs> I know you. You love food, but don't worry. You like the way I dish the food for you. Wow, that is why I like you. At least I'm always talking about you. So, my dad, too much. <laughs> too much. I need to talk about food. That's very simple. Please just. I know it's all about food. Hmm. If I don't eat, I will take get enough energy to work in this house. Wow. Don't you know if I eat better food and chop better meat, I will get enough energy to fight thief oh. at we near this compound. Hmm. You don't eat, Mr. Fighter. I'm going to carry your food. I'm going to carry your food. I'm going to carry your food. Why are you carrying your food? Chase this. Chase this. Chase this now. Okay, right there. So that I can feed your body to the vulture. Hmm. Die well so that women can rest. You explain yourself. No. Police, I do not kill him. Madam, move. Go in first. We well, have heard you. When you get yes. to the station, you explain you yourself. Please imagine. You go in first. Oh, you are yeah. using an innocent person. You murdered no, my friend. You poisoned him. You poisoned him. 
to get to the station you explain yourself. You have the right to remain silent. Yes. Whatever you say will be used against you in the court of law. Just in case. Why is she even talking? No, 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 please, please, move, move, officer, whatever, officer, please. Officer, please. Please. I will take us to my hand. Whatever you go, but you just please move, please move, please. please. More draw. alone. <laughs> Your voice alone could melt ice. <laughs> I'm telling you. Maybe Sean. I don't want to stop. Bro. <laughs> I don't want to stop. <laughs> I don't you ever. Have to stop. Mm. 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 Hey, hold on. Frank's sugar mommy's calling. Monica. Hello? What? But has it gotten to that extent? You shouldn't have killed him. Listen, I totally understand how you feel, right? But just calm down. I'm promising you that I will defend you on this very case free of charge. And just have it in mind that you're coming out of it freely. Okay? Because I will personally provide every evidence needed for you to win this case. It's alright. It's fine. What was that? Monica. She poisoned Frank. She said she's in the police custody now. Yes, serves me right. You know? I was trying to tell him to change, but he wouldn't listen to me. I was forming tough guy, tough guy. I beg you, hey babe, let's go back to this, okay? Feeding you cucumber. I could feed you cucumber all Feeding night. Feeding us. Eh? Uh, have you? Let's eat together. I am, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah! They have killed my son! I have killed my son! I warned him! I warned your friend! Frank! Frank, where are you? They have finally killed him! Where are you, Frank? Frank, come on! Your body's calling you! Ah! Frank! Frank, where are you? Frank, come! Come! Your body's calling you! Come! Hey! Hey! I will get to the root of this. Trust me! Look, you want to see Frank? Is it police custody? Yes. Who would that bring my son? Mama Frank called me at the point of death and told me that Monica poisoned him. Who would that bring him back? Mama, as far as I'm alive, I will rubbish that girl. I will rubbish her. I want your friend. He would only say, Frank, where are you? Frank! Frank, your man is calling you. Open your jaws. Look at that boy! Come and see your mother! Okay. Your mother! Stop crying! No, 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 Hey! It's, it's paining me the way it's paining you, man. Hey! Oh Come and see your mother! 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 The more you cry, your mother is calling you! My lord, permit me to make it clear to this honorable court that the culprit, Mr. Frank Chubu, is nothing but a nuisance to the society, and his death will be a big relief to humanity as a whole. I, Barrister Dima Roslyn Benson, was also a victim of the culprit, Mr. Frank Chuku. Objection, my lord. Objection overruled. Barrister Roslyn, you may continue. Thank you, my lord. The culprit, Mr. Frank Chuku, got me pregnant, squandered my money, and ran away. And afterwards, 
came back to fake his death with the help of his friend, Mr. Brian. Mr. Brian even brought me a newspaper where I read his death that he died in a car crash. Yet another evidence, my Lord. Mr. Brian came to my house with an affidavit to enable him to have access to Frank's bank account, claiming that he willed every of his property to him. That is the second. Still another evidence, my Lord. Objection, my Lord. My learned colleague here is trying to investigate my client. Objection overruled. By Mr. Rosling, you proceed. Thank you, my Lord. I have a video where I recorded Frank's mother crying and declaring that the son was dead. She even took me to the grave where he was buried. Please, my Lord, permit me to tender all these evidences before the Honorable Court. Request granted. Haven't seen all these evidences, my lord. Mr. Frank Chuku died on the 20th March this year. So I put it to this honorable court that my client, Miss Monica Ozo, killed a ghost and not a human. I rest my case. Okay, having gone through the evidences presented by the defense counsel, I hereby pass my judgment. With evidence before this honorable court, I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt that Miss Monica Ozo killed a ghost and not a human being. She is hereby discharged and acquitted. <laughs> and Mr. Brian Ibokwe and Mrs. Olivia Chuku are hereby sentenced to five years imprisonment <laughs> respectively for a beating murder. This is my judgment. So babe, how did it go? Can you imagine that the fool was denying in court that he wasn't the one that um, brought the newspaper to me? Mm. Even the affidavit that has a signature on it. Because I presented it at the court as an evidence. They never knew I was that smart. They never saw it coming. You know, my instinct is very, very strong. It is. It is, my darling. At some point, he told me to start keeping records, which I did. So the day the mom took me to Frank's grave, I recorded. Because I was able to secure judgment for my clients. Brian and Frank's mother have been sentenced to five years imprisonment. Ah. My super attorney. Huh? You're a very smart lawyer. Yeah, not just a smart lady, which you are. You're a very smart lawyer. See, this is why I love you. You inspire me. Thank Honestly. You, babe. <laughs> that was wonderful. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Thank you.
You know you are so beautiful, baby. Stop it. <sighs> I have to go. For real? Yeah. Please ensure you keep to the time. I have to see you again. I will see you. I promise. My sweet, sexy angel. Don't ever come close to me. I don't want to see you. I don't want you anywhere close to me right now. I can't believe this is what you do when I'm not around. This is what you go around doing and you say you love me. Sugar. You're supposed to love me. I'm your sugar. What do you mean sugar? Sugar what? Sugar, you're kissing him. Baby, please, I'm deeply sorry. I'm sorry. But come on, honey. I'm a human being. Not a piece of trash. I've been calling your number all day, but you weren't picking up. So it's my fault. I'm not saying it's your fault, honey. But come on. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I just, I needed to quench my taste and I called my ex to help me do that. So you couldn't hold it together. You couldn't wait a little bit longer. You have to quench your thirst. You couldn't wait. And you claim you love me. Every time oh, I can't live without you, I'll die if you leave me. Please, that this is what you're doing. Please. You love me and this is what you're doing. You're saying please because I caught you. If I didn't catch you, you wouldn't be saying please. Babe, it won't happen again. Oh, it's how, how am I supposed to know that? You know what? I need space. Don't even come. See, I don't want to see you right now. Just stay away from me. Uh, give me your space. I don't want to see you right now. Please, you can do that to me. I can. Because you can't do that to me. If you can do that to me, I can do this to you. Miguel, I'm sorry. Alex, please, you have to forgive me. I'm sorry, please. Doctor, the pressure is getting so much. I don't know what to do. Chief is threatening to take me to a hospital. And you know, if he takes me to a hospital that is not yours, people will find out that I am not pregnant. It's four months now. And it's beginning to complain that my stomach is not growing. Don't worry, madam. Let me think of what to do. I will get back to you. Doctor, you need to act fast. I don't want to lose my man. Please. I understand. I'll get back to you, ma'am. Don't worry. We... Mm -hmm. Tonight, mm -hmm. toast yeah. to, to what? Ooh. I was hoping it was going to shoot out. Like yeah. We toast to greatness. Yeah. To the greatest attorney of our time. <laughs> What's saying? Oh, gosh, man. Uh -uh. The greatest, the gold. <laughs> Babe, you know that you are a man. Oh, what's that? Man, a good. Mm -hmm. You're the greatest of all time. Greatest of all attorneys. You know? Greatest of all time. You're a good. You're a man. What does that mean, babe? It means good. Greatest of all time. You take the first letter of each word because you're number one now. Two can do. That's why you're the number one guy. Baby. You know? Sometimes babe, you, can, you can be a clown sometimes. Babe, I'm not even trying to be. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm being honest. I'm not trying to flatter you. Thank you. I'm not washing. Thank you. You're really that girl. Thank you, my love. Ah. Oh, babes, you know, right now I am super happy. My heart is at rest now, honestly. I've been vindicated and my baby will rest in peace. And of course, Frank will be resting in hell as well. The family should know that they never dealt with a riffraff, hmm. but a woman of substance. Thanks. Babe, congratulations once again. Thank you, baby. To a goat of our time, yeah. greatest of all time. Yeah, baby. Maybe you are a man. You've started. I'm telling you. <laughs> You've started. I'm telling you. <laughs> mm. Mm. One more, please. One more. Just for the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let's go eat, baby. Oh, yeah. Good. You know, the first course of the day. Yeah, I know. You're the second course <laughs> of the day. <laughs> Where are you running to? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what is on? Honey, why are you crying? Eh? You 
shouldn't be crying in this your condition. <laughs> what is it? It's okay, it's okay, stop crying, come on. Come on, it's okay, talk to me. What is it? Do you need to change your car? If you want to change your car, tell me, I'll buy it. Okay? All right, tell me, what do you want? Whatever you want, I'll buy it for you oh! as a baby. What is it? <laughs> Stop crying now, you are out yourself. Oh, what is this? Oh my God. Why this at this time? Why this? Please, get up. We need to rush to the hospital. We need to rush to save the life of the baby. Oh. What is the meaning of all this? It's okay, it's okay, stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. It's all right. Uh, doctor. Yes, Chief. You sent for me. Yes. How is my wife doing at the gate? Chief, your wife had a miscarriage. And uh, it is normal to women that are stressed off during a pregnancy. Doctor, that is not possible. It's not possible. She doesn't do anything ever since she became pregnant. Eh? I have, I have, I have servants that does all the chores. I have a gate man. I have people that suffer. Why, why the miscarriage now, nah, doctor? Why? Eh? Hey. Doctor Biko, are, are you sure you checked very well, Chief? This is my profession. I checked her very well. I will advise next time when she takes in, you need to do proper checkup on her. And at uh, the same time, I will place her on a medication to make sure that such a thing never happens again. God, God, why? Eh? why? Why is all these things happening to me? Eh? Why? From one calamity to another. Eh? I lost my daughter, and now my only hope of having her heir is, is lost. God, please forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me. I blame myself for all this. I blame myself. I kid my daughter, and now everything about me is in shambles. Eh? Chief, I understand your predicament. But doctor, you do not understand. You don't. You don't understand. You need to put yourself together. You are a man. God will make this to come. We we'll make available one for you. Oh no, doctor. Doctor, it's not easy. I know what I went through. Where's Jennifer? I haven't seen her today. You mean she didn't tell you she was traveling? Jennifer has traveled out of the country to do her masters. So that's her solution. She cheated on me. She just runs away. She cheated on me. Like, this is someone that's saying that she loves me, that she can't live without me. And I saw her cheating on me. She was literally kissing some other guy. I saw them with my own two eyes. If she loves me, how could she do that? Yes, I know, Alex. Who knows the other stuff she's done behind, like, without me seeing them? She told me everything. She told me everything that happened. And she's so, so sorry. Sure. The more reason why she, she left the country to go do her master's. Alex, as we speak, she's in London. Jennifer is ashamed of facing you. Please, Alex, she's so sorry. You need to forgive her, please. And if you call her, she'll be glad you did. I should call her. What do you she cheated on me. Why am I calling her? Call her why? Well, that doesn't even make sense to me. If I call her, she's going to hate me. Like, because of what I would tell her. I don't, I'm not calling anybody. Please, Alex. Can you just calm down? 
please just calm down i know it hurts it's painful but you have to calm down okay please hello austin i've been trying your number now where did you keep your phone you know chief has been arrested by the efcc we need to act fast and smart. Yes. Let's sell off his properties, his houses, his cars, before his family members comes around and act a fast one on us. Percentage? Look, stop talking about percentage now. Get an agent. When we sell the properties, I'll give you your own share. Let's be fast, please. Okay. I'll be waiting. I called both of you here because one of our biggest clients and also a good friend of mine, Chief Benson, is in the custody of EFCC. The man has done enough in my life. And because of that man, I see him as a justice. Good turn deserves another. That's why I call both of you as smart lawyers we have in this chamber. But Alex, I want you to represent this chamber at the court. I know you are smart. I'm counting on you because I know that you have handled many cases that is bigger than this one. That brought enough money in this time. That's very done, sir. Okay. It's such an honor to be bestowed with this opportunity. Thank you so much. What date is the court hearing? On Monday at GRA, court one. Okay. I'll immerse myself in the job I'll get ready for, for Monday. Uh, yeah, babe, I have a case to defend on Monday, Jerry Cohen. You know, it's one of our biggest clients, you know, my boss's main benefactor. So. What a coincidence. I also have a court to defend at GRA Court 1 under the EFCC. It's a fraud case, but I don't know the time yet. Are you serious? Yeah. So you have a, a case to defend on Monday. Exactly. So we're leaving at the same time. We're leaving together. Yeah. Babe, I know that you're going to make me proud. You're the GOAT now. The greatest of all time. Oh, baby. The one and only man. Oh, baby. Of Africa. <laughs> uh, is this easy? It's, you make it's, me proud. is worrying yes, me Yes, I understand, my Seriously. love. <laughs> mm. All right. Oh, baby, I just wish we could just sit at the same time. I mean, I can't wait to watch you exhibit your jury's charisma. You know you're such a smart lawyer. Ah. Babes, just... Do your thing, make me proud, and of course, come back to tell me how you all went. Of course, baby. You're the greatest of all time. I know. Eh? I'll tell you how mine went after you tell me how you slayed in court. Of course. You slay in court with no <laughs> mercy. Of course. Mm. Mm. Of course. Uh, uh, <laughs> do not start what you cannot No, finish. I will finish everything. Hey, <laughs> that's what I want to hear. <laughs> Case number FHC slash 11C between EFCC and Chief Benson. Chief Benson, are you a Christian or a Muslim? I'm a Christian. Listen, we're going to swear to this Bible. 
that whatever you are going to say to this honorable court should be nothing but the truth. I swear. That till Chief Benson, owner of Benson and Sons Company, on the 12th of October, was accused of fraud and money laundry by Laruji's Company Limited. Chief Benson, are you guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. My lord, he pleads not guilty. Counsel, you may proceed. My lord, my client here was impersonated by his manager, who used his company name to carry out illegal business schemes. The innocence of my client is crystallized by the lack of his signature, a symbol of the documents associated with the illegal business scheme. So I maintain the position that my client is innocent of these allegations. Objection, my lord. With respect to my learned colleague, the court needs to know that his client connived with his manager to plan this business deal. For he is the legal owner of that company and needs to know whenever things happen in the company. Objection, my lord. When you run a business of the size of Chief Benson or something, said it's impossible to know every single thing that goes on in the company. My client here was unaware of the illegal business scheme being carried out by his manager. He's innocent. Objection, my lord. Objection of our room. Cancer, you may proceed. My colleague here believes that my client connived with his staff to carry out this illegal scheme. But if he did so, why are there no traces? of his signature on any of the documents. I maintain, my learned colleague, that my client is definitely not good. Objection, my lord. Objection overruled. Can see you may proceed. Thank you, my lord. <clears throat> I'd like to bring this to this honorable court with all due respect. The request for an appeal to grant my client's bail because of his health conditions. Bail condition for this offense demands a civilian who has a landed property in GROA and 15 level officer. Already provided, sir. Barista Rosie, do you have anything to say to that? For the very first time, my lord, I align with my learned colleague if he meets the bail condition, the court might grant him bail. The accused person should appear in the next court sitting. I hereby I join this case the 15th of November. Ask the court, please. Court, right. Hello, Chief. Uh, Barrister, please, that uh, female lawyer that just dashed out, the one that stood against me, uh, where, where has she gone to? Uh, why? Is there a problem? Uh, not at all. There's no problem. Um, do you know her? Yeah, I happen to know her. You know, she's my fiance. You know, <laughs> we're kind of shocked that we're going against each other on this case. Mm. You know? Biko, uh, my brother, I would like to. I would like to meet her. I would like to meet her, please. Why? You will not understand. It's very important. That uh, female lawyer looks like my missing daughter. I'll be very grateful if you can take me to meet her, please. Please. Um. Biko. No, 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 babe, I totally understand how you... No, you don't. No, 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 babe, I, no, no, I totally understand. Just calm down, please. please. Just, no, babe, please. Babe, you don't understand how I feel. This man disowned me. 
He disowned me because of his selfish political career. He made my life miserable. You were here. You witnessed everything that happened. All I went through because of him. And now you're telling me to be calm. How on earth do you expect me to calm down? I don't even expect you to be calm. I don't. But you're special, baby. You have a great heart. I know you. Okay, please. For the love you have for me, please just hear him out. That's all it's I not that easy. It's not that easy. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. You look so beautiful right now. Babe, I'm going to kneel down. No, 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 no. Don't. Please. Alex, you know you mean a lot to me. I love you so much that I can't even say no to you. If you want me to speak with him, yes. I will. Mm. Just let him in. Sir, please, 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 just have a seat, yeah? I'm sorry, my, son, my daughter, please. I'm very sorry. My daughter, please. Like I was saying, I have been through a lot looking for you. I suffered. I really, really suffered, Dad. If not for this man seated right here, I don't know what my life would have been turned into. I don't know. He's the one God sent to wipe my tears and make me happy again. Why is my own father never cared? It's okay, my daughter. Thank God you're alive. Please. Where is your child? <laughs> I lost the baby. Please, I am very sorry for everything I've done. I am very sorry. Even on your birthday, I celebrated in your absence, thinking you are dead. Please forgive me. by my mother. Mm. Your mother is dead. Ah. What? She died the very day. We had about the news thinking you are dead. Her big heroes and she gave us. What we had to share was real. No! 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 I'm sorry, my please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have been a fool. Please forgive me. No. Do you have a visitor? 
No, I, I, I was just trying to make an experiment with the glass. Yeah, because I'm wondering why you're drinking with two glasses of wine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's all right. Um, honey, I'm a very happy man. I have never been this happy in my life. Do you know that my daughter that I've been singing like a song to you? She was the one that granted me bell in the court today. Your daughter is alive. My daughter is alive. My daughter is alive. That her identity that was brought to us was stolen. The lady that stole her boss was trying to run away. And she was not done. We have been mourning a thief all this while, not my daughter. My daughter is alive. Wow. <laughs> That's good news. Very good news. Very big one. I can't wait to see her. At least now, I have a daughter-in-law. You do? In fact, eh, this calls for celebration. Go and get more wine. Let me join you. Go and get more wine. Let me join you. Here it is. Go and get more wine. I thought I had just leveled in vain. My lord, I believe the culprit is of legal age and he should be charged with fraud, impersonation, and money laundering, not my client over here. Because his signature is littered on the documents of the illegal business scheme. And not one document bears the signature of my client. So the culprit over here is definitely guilty. My lord, I want to align with the defense counsel. Let the culprit be charged, not the innocent man. For fraud, fraudulent and misbehavior. Years. And the accused is and is charged and Baby, at the risk of pissing off the great Peter Doce, I go down on one knee and I ask you, I plead with you. Please make me the happiest man in the world. Would you please marry me? Say yes. Say yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes? <laughs> Thank you so much. Baby. Thank you. to see your daughter. I made this special delicacy for her. Don't be in a hurry. I've got them already. I'm sure there'll soon be here. Okay. They should be going to the hall. I think they're going home. That I came with my chief. Is she your daughter we've been waiting for? Yeah. She's the man, my daughter. School is indeed a small place. Chief, I maltreated her so badly to the extent of almost killing her. You did what? How could you be this wicked and heartless? Sir, please just calm down. She's actually my sister. She is your sister? 
my blood sister. I'm sorry. I just knew all of these things were just more than a mere coincidence. At first, she came back home with a wristwatch that looked exactly like the one my father got for me in one of his trips to London. As if that wasn't enough. She came back home with exactly the car my father gave me as a birthday gift. With the same plate number which actually raised my eyebrow, but I wasn't too sure. And then lastly, the bottle umbrella that she got for me, the pink one, she came back with it. I was surprised. I wanted to talk because it was just too much for me to bear, but I just couldn't because of the maltreatment she gave me while I was living with them. My daughter, I am very sorry. You, you see, I, I started giving those things out because they were bringing back your memory to me and it hurts so much. It makes me feel like I pushed you out to die, not knowing that you are even alive. I'm sorry. Rosie, please forgive me. Please. I understand. But I have one thing to tell you. Yes, I have forgiven you. I bear no grudges against you. But I believe this must have taught you a great lesson. You don't treat people like that. The world is a small place. And life itself is vanity upon vanity. I forgive you. We okay. went through a lot, a whole lot. Just the other day, we were involved in a, in a shootout in our house, you know? And I'm sure it's connected to the murder case Rosie handled. Because ever since then, we've been getting death threats, you know? But at least I'm happy nothing happened to us. Look, both of you are not going back to the house again. I'm going to give you a house in the GRA. Okay? Thank you, sir. Everything you need is already there. All you guys need is to get your bags and move in. Thank you so much. And even this is your law profession, I think you need to discard it. I mean, it's very risky. You keep creating an enmity for yourself every day. I don't think you. And as soon as you're done with your aviation course, I would like you to go to Lagos and handle my traveling agency. Okay? Wow. Thank you, sir. It's all right. It's all right. Rosie. Please, can we go somewhere and talk? Come back to the arms of love, baby. Come back to me. 